In the heart of the wilderness, a battle rages. A silent war, fought not with guns and bombs, but with seeds, roots, and predatory instincts. This is the hidden war of invasive species, a tale of ecological disruption and the struggle for survival. Picture this, you're venturing into a foreign world where beings from far off lands have taken over. Now visualize this, that world is our planet. In the natural beauty of Nepal, invasive species, plants that do not originally belong there, have become a serious threat. Species like the water hyacinth and Mykonia micrantha, foreign to this terrain, havoc on their new environment, suffocating indigenous flora and eroding biodiversity. These species, originally from South America, have invaded Nepal due to increased international travel and trade. Their rapid, unchecked growth is causing a significant loss to the native vegetation and the wildlife that depends on it. These invaders are reshaping the landscapes we know and cherish. The tale of invasive species is as timeless as human civilization itself. The minute our ancestors began to explore and colonize new lands, they inadvertently brought foreign plants and animals into uncharted ecosystems. Ecosystems! Notably, Nepal has its own unique story to tell in this regard. As a nation blessed with rich biodiversity in the heart of the Himalayas, Nepal has had to deal with its share of invasive species, for instance, Mikania micrantha and the common water hyacinth. Mikania micrantha is a rapidly proliferating weed that poses a significant threat to indigenous species. On the other hand, the common has become infamous for suffocating water bodies throughout the country. In these unfamiliar territories, such as Nepal, these aggressive interlopers often find themselves devoid of natural predators, enabling them to thrive and reproduce at an incredibly rapid pace. This has posed a significant challenge to the environmental balance within the country. Take, for example, the infamous case of the cane toad in Australia. Introduced in the 1930s to control beetle populations in sugarcane fields, these amphibians quickly became a menace, their poisonous skin proving lethal to native predators. Or consider the zebra mussel, a tiny creature with a big impact. Native to Eastern Europe, it hitched a ride to the Great Lakes in North America in the late 20th century. These mollusks multiply rapidly, clogging water pipes, disrupting power plants, and outcompeting native species for resources. The impacts of these invasions are not just ecological, they have economic consequences too. The United States spends an estimated $120 billion annually on controlling and mitigating the effects of invasive species. And this figure doesn't even begin to account for the economic loss due to reduced crop yields and damage to infrastructure. But the tale of invasive species doesn't end in despair. From the ashes of disruption, solutions are emerging. Scientists and conservationists worldwide are working tirelessly to combat these invaders. They're developing innovative strategies from biological controls like introducing natural predators to utilizing cutting-edge technology for early detection and rapid response. Take the example of the Asian carp in the United States. In an effort to control their population, there's a push to promote their consumption. Yes, you heard it right. An eat the invaders strategy is being adopted turning a problem into a potential solution. Or consider the use of drones and artificial intelligence in detecting invasive plant species. These technologies help scientists to identify and eradicate invasive species before they can establish a foothold. In conclusion, invasive species present a significant challenge, one that intertwines with our history and reaches into our future. They disrupt ecosystems, burden economies, but they also spur us into action, driving innovation and encouraging us to think creatively in our quest for solutions. The tale of invasive species is a reminder of the intricate web of life in which we're all entwined. It's a story of unintended consequences, resilience and hope. It compels us to respect the delicate balance of nature and reminds us of our responsibility to protect the world we call home.